Wood carving is a craft all in amongst itself, but as bushcrafters and outdoorsmen, we should have some knowledge around how to carve wood because it's the medium that is out here most readily available for us. What we're gonna look at today is carving a very simple spatula. Now what you need to remember with wood carving is this, that there's this whole giant spectrum of it. You can do zero of it, pick up a stick and flip whatever you need while you're cooking. You can carve somewhat of a simple spatula. You can make a very elaborate spatula. It's really up to number one, your skill level and what you are trying to do. But at the end of the day, my advice always is do something that you love. And as bushcrafters, we should have some enjoyment around working with wood and working with the materials out here. So rather than carrying these items out into the woods with us, we can make one while we're out here. What I did was just grab a chunk of wood that was laying around camp. What I'm gonna do now is split this down. Rough cutting anything for carving is really, in my opinion, the key to getting ahead with it and not wearing yourself out. If you don't rough cut anything, you're just starting with a block like this and trying to carve this down, it's possible, but you're gonna wear yourself out. So really try to process and rough cut as much as you can and then the finish work is really what's gonna take it to that next level. But for simplicity's sake, we're gonna just knock this out pretty quick as if we needed to eat lunch, which I do here shortly. So I cut this piece of wood and um, I'm just gonna split it down. So close to center, because what I'm looking for, think about the width of my finger, I'm looking for that piece of wood right through the middle. So I'm looking for any checks and anything like that, and I want just a nice flat piece of wood. So I'm gonna start there. I always like to baton wood when I'm doing this. I just think it works better than trying to chop your ax into it. All right. So that's what we got. We'll look at the other piece and make our determination what we like more. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, now I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> so indecisiveness, but hey, you gotta make a decision at some point. The biggest thing with carving wood, especially here in the field, if we don't have ideal wood to carve is we want to make sure that we just work with the wood. Just, it's gonna give us what it's gonna give us. So it's our job as craftsmen to make it better. Again, rough cutting this about the width of my finger to get that nice plank that I'm looking for. Now what I'm doing is watching this as it splits out and it seems like it's split out pretty well. And it did, so you see where we're at now with that. So that's thick yet for a spatula, but I don't think that I have a skill level high enough yet to get it much thinner with my ax by splitting it. So I'm gonna have to do some work. At this point, we need to use a carving style grip with our ax, which is gonna be a lot different than if you watch some of my other videos with ax safety. We're gonna slide our hand all the way up or a little bit down on the ax. I like to go almost all the way up like this. We're gonna keep our thumb, not on this side of the wood, but away, and I'm gonna work from this half down. I can then flip it and work this half down. I don't want to be coming up this high and trying to cut down so we don't cut our fingers. So I'm just gonna thin out this lumber right now to make it a little bit thinner. So you see how I did that? If I wanna get this side now, just come on this side. And start to work it down. Just being cognizant of where that ax head is and where that blade is at at all times. You see I got that somewhat smooth. Now to the back side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just not remove as much material. All right, look at the board, where we're at with it. Very nice, very thin. Okay, so we got it thinned out, but now we need to start to make that spatula shape. So what I really wanna look at to begin is just, 
I'm gonna make this simple. So it's going to be a flat spatula. We're not gonna have the traditional drop down or step down type curve to it. It's gonna just be flat, but we need to cut those shoulders into it. So just looking at this wood, I'm looking already that there's somewhat of a curve here. So I'm just gonna go with that. Now what you need to remember when you think about carving is that the grain is running this way. So if I would put my knife here and push, it's gonna cut that off. So I need to work from this side back down, okay? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that bend where it's at right there, and I'm gonna start to carve that down. Very simple, very easy. And look at we already, with only, what was that, three or four cuts, I'm starting to get the look of a spatula. So at this point, I'm gonna need to start to cut in the curve from the top of the curve, not from the bottom up, because that's where you're gonna make the mistake and split out all of your wood. So I'm just gonna cut in and slide down. See, I'm making that curve. I'm putting my knife in and sliding it down and then sliding the whole way. So you see what this is starting to look like. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come on this other side where that natural sweep already is, and I'm gonna just begin to work inward on that side. And you can see what shape that's starting to give us. Again, if I would come from this side and cut up, there's a probability I can split out that side of the spatula. So I don't wanna do that. See where we're getting with that? It's simple, it's easy. And it's gonna get the job done. At this point, we have a rough template of a spatula. You could see it's thick in here yet, so we're gonna address that. But really for a feel expedient, I mean, I haven't even been working on this for five minutes yet. I mean, super quick, super easy. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, I'm not gonna be able to sell them on Etsy, but hey, <laughs> not bad, right? What I like to do with something that thick, and that is a, about a half a width of finger, is I'll get my ax, because I feel like it's easier just to do some of this heavier work with my ax. You can see that's still not straight. I'm not worried about that too much yet. I'm gonna come about halfway down the spatula to decide what is the top and what's the bottom. And I'm just gonna start working my way down that because what I wanna do is trim and thin this section out. All right, you can see where I'm at. Now I'm gonna do my finishing work. I'm gonna level out this front edge. And how I do that is I will simply start right here, okay, and work my way across, making heavier cuts. And you see how that's removing that material. I'll flip it over and start to do the same thing. Then I can just go down the face. Now you're gonna see when I flip it this way, very thin here, not so thin there. So that's where some of this finishing work is gonna come into play with your knife. I could just take my knife and begin to thin that out. Ultimately, at the end of the day, the more symmetry you have, the better looking this is gonna be. Functionality wise, symmetry doesn't matter all that much, but you do want it nice and thin like that. And you have yourself a very quick easy field expedient spatula something that you can make around camp and impress your friends okay now you could sit again and work on that all you would want but that's very simple and not having one of these out in the field and you're going to go to cook something you might have your pan you think ah, i got to flip my bacon you can make this and it just aids into our craft and our enjoyment and i'll tell you i make these all the time and i enjoy making them if I really want to sit down, I get nice green wood, something of hardwood, even birch, anything like that. I'll sit in the summer and make a really nice one and then just keep it with me. But for something nice and quick, this is going to do the job. Flipping eggs, flipping bacon, flipping burgers will get the job done. So just remember it's cutting with the grain, letting the wood do what the wood's going to do and you work with it. If you have to adjust your design, adjust your design. But it's just those little simple things that are going to make it yours and make it unique. So this was Dan Wolak with Coal Cracker Bushcraft. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, check us out over coalcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods, guys.